game has me a little bit shook. It's a little nasty. This game a little nasty. They a little nasty. This ain't the first time because they had a little situation where he's like, you're going to be my slave. And she's like, I didn't steal this. I'm not going to be your slave. And like, I was like, oh, what is this? It's kind of kinky. But no, I screenshot, screenshot, screenshotted <laughs> this because I couldn't believe it. And I, it said, I was basically some guy was like having his little underling do shit for him. And he was like, look, bro, you had me do, you had me clean up Chocobo shit. All right. Like, tell me the motherfucking victory story. I want to hear this victory ass war story is what he was like. Like, you had me do this. You had me do that. He's like, all right, fine. I, I'm so generous that I'm going to tell you my victory story. Like, that is going to be your reward. And so, like, he starts telling the story about how humble he was because he allowed his underlings to fight this big boss guy for him. And then I like walk in the room and he looks at me and he's like, oh my God, it's you. And he was just like, I am a coward. I didn't fight nobody's battles. Like I'm a punk bitch is basically what he was like. And the guy's like, you're a liar. You fucking lied to me and made me clean up chocobo shit. Like I was like, bro. And part of the guys, like when he was basically saying I'm a coward and I ain't shit. He was just like, I was never a part of the company of heroes. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm Chocobo Dung. No, I'm the maggots you find wringling, wringling, wriggling on Chocobo Dung. He said, I have to lie to women to tumble him. And that don't happen much. Me, he said, me members tiny. It's pathetic. I said, my members tiny, it's 